Good evening, folks. Alien Addict here. How the devil are you? So it's been a while. Um, I've been extremely busy. Um, work and also my wife is literally about to burst. <laughs> Give birth. Um, but two weeks ago, I did a video where... It was a live stream, and me and Universe were talking about UFOs in general. I, I, I talked about a UFO that I saw over Leeds. I've just been looking at the actual, because I couldn't remember the date, and looked at the info on my phone. If you see that, there, that is the date. Um, it was done on the 24th of June at uh, 5.33. That number. 33 keeps coming into my life weird number strange number demonic number um anyway back to the ufo that i saw so this ufo i was literally so i, was, I, I spoke to tony w and he said he wants me to do a video and explain how i felt and what i was doing at the time because he saw a ufo a few years ago and he sent me the footage uh not footage some pictures which i'll put up now for you um and they're very similar to this object he thinks um uh, by the looks of the pictures it's not a, uh, obviously not moving but it looks similar to what i saw and i was literally i think it was just talking to some subscribers while I was having a beer um, and looking at my phone. This was over Leeds, White Road Shopping Centre. Um, just having, having a beer. I've done some shopping, relaxing. And I thought, let's, uh, let's reply to some subscribers and have a little bit of a chat. So I'm, I'm there and I'm thinking in my head about how the channel's going to progress and this, that and the other. I'm thinking I need to start you know, getting out there and looking at UFOs. And I, I kind of just looked up at the sky and thought, oh shit, what, was, what is that? And it was just like this, well, I'll play the video. It was like this twinkling object. Um, as you can see, I, I, I zoom in and it's moving really steady, almost like how you would expect probably a balloon to move. But with the naked eye, you could see it wasn't a balloon. It was weird. It was like almost pulsating uh, a little bit. It, at first, I thought it was a star. I thought I thought I could see a star in broad daylight. I thought, wow, that's really about our planet. Um, but the more and more I looked, I then noticed a second object and this is me now trying to find this second object on the camera and hands down to people I've said before when people are looking at UFOs why don't they ever just focus properly why don't they ever like look properly for the UFO rather than going back and forth back and forth and it is so hard especially in broad daylight I had the Sun in my face I had these bloody big bulb things in this pub um, and it, it it was hard to film and it was annoying um, so that the first one the first clip was about a minute and then I, I put the phone down a second to have a look try and have a look and then recorded again um, this one is three minutes and eleven seconds and I'm trying to get the second object and I, th I think I get it you, can, you keep seeing glimpses of it but there was two of these just orbs they were orbs and they were moving kind of I would say oh I, th I think it was about 20,000 feet up I could be wrong there because I'm not very good with all the suspect perspective and well you know what I mean uh, but I think they might have been about, I'd say about 500 metres apart, maybe more. It's impossible for me to kind of comprehend because of the distance. But 
these objects were not aeroplanes. I don't think they were balloons, especially when the second one just started to appear. Um, almost like one was there and one was down there. So you can see in the footage, I'm like all over the place, trying to get both of them, when really I should have kind of just filmed one of them and thought I'm gonna, I'm gonna settle for you because I lost, I lost them all together. And they literally, when I stopped recording, I, you can't see me with the naked eye anymore. So I think, so I'm gonna put the the UFOs, the, the raw footage uh, in the description below. Now this is, this is unlisted. Uh, I've put them out before, some of the subscribers have, they've commented on them. I'd like everybody to comment and by, if you are a UFO channel, by all means, feel free to use the footage. Just bring it back to me to say, this is what Alien Addict and leave a link to my channel. That's all I ask. But if you can stabilize this, because I'm shit with this software, I am gonna learn it and I might stabilize it myself. It's just getting the time, guys. Um, if you can stabilize it, get some real good footage of this, um, then by all means, bang it out. Well, I've got no problems with that whatsoever. Um, the more we share this type of stuff, the better. Um, but yeah, I'll leave you with the videos to look at. Um, what I'm, what I am after, and this is a big ask from you guys, is follow me on Twitter. That was my chair that creaked. Follow me on Twitter. Send me links to things because I, I can't do this on my own. I'm not a one-man band. Well, I am a one-man band, sorry. But I don't want to do this just by myself. I want to bring you guys in to help with this. Um, any help from other channels is awesome as well. Um, what I am after is footage. If you send me footage that you've seen, that you think is legit, um, and it's not a fucking aeroplane or a balloon. I mean, I mean, I'm not, I couldn't give you a 100, 100, 100% that that is not some sort of weather balloon. But it's the fact that it just disappeared and that two of them was almost flying in sync it's um, now that it's not a balloon. I don't think it's a balloon. I think I saw a proper UFO. Um, whether it's alien or not is another question. You know, I'm starting to think more and more about this, and I've and I've, I've had discussions with Gordon Hamilton about this. Is it alien, or is it something completely different? Um. I know there's a lot of channels out there that say that UFOs are and the the greys are demons and this, that and the other. I don't know if I'm down with that or not, but I do question it and think maybe this is there's something more to this and maybe it's something that's actually always been on Earth that we don't know about. And maybe we're not being visited by aliens. But I'm damn sure the government knows exactly what it is. Damn sure. Well, the government above the government, if you know what I mean. The people at the top of the triangle. They know exactly what it is. Um, it could even be them. Who knows? Anyway, guys. Send me your shit. Share this video, like it, whatever. You know, it gets my channel noticed, it gets my channel out there. I am wanting to get out there more often. I, I think I've mentioned to a few of you in, in the past that I'm going to get myself out to Rendlesham Forest, hopefully this year. It's so hard at the minute with work and having a wife that's heavily pregnant to do this shit, but I ain't giving up on it. I'm not going anywhere. If I don't upload for a couple of weeks or so, don't think, oh, it's fucked off, because Alien has got sick of it. I don't believe in UFOs anymore. He's probably doing a, a channel on Lego. Um, no, I am going to stick with it. Um, it's not about money. It's never been about money with me. It is all about the dum 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 dum. It's all about the UFOs. It's all about you. It's all about me. It's my vanity. I like to speak to myself. I like to watch my videos back and look at my pretty face and my teddy bear in the background. 
I like to make a total twat out of myself. I'll have a beer. Live chats with beers are great, even though I always lose subscribers. Some people are so sensitive. But yeah, anyway, good night, God bless. God bless. Good night, God bless. And uh, mind the bugs don't bite. It's on the reflexes.